Today we're going to be going over the five best CR56 AMAX class setup. This also includes a Warzone setup as well. So if you want to skip to the video to certain parts of the video that you actually care about, you can actually do that by scrubbing on the bar down below, or you can check the description for the timestamps. The CR56 is pretty dominant, and it's a pretty viable weapon if you ask me, especially in Warzone, you down enemies really quickly. So if you haven't tried the CR56 yet, or you just haven't unlocked it yet, you best do that now and make sure to max level it out so you can use most of these class setups so as you can see below me we have an aggressive class setup a stealth class setup a balanced class setup and a high damage class setup, as well as a war zone class setup as you see here first let's go over the aggressive class setup so one thing that you need to know about this class setup is that this needs to be used up close and personal because the cr56 actually does have quite a bit of recoil on it and you're gonna have a hard time engaging on opponents from long distance not to say that it's not impossible at all more experienced players are gonna have an easier time with this but that's why i do recommend using this on much smaller maps such as shoot house so for the first attachment we're going to be using the merc foregrip as the underbarrel this one's going to give us some good recoil control as well as that hip fire accuracy now that added bonus of hip fire accuracy is the main reason why i'm choosing the merc foregrip over any of the other grips if you're playing aggressive and you're going up close and personal you are going to want to hip fire in certain situations so having this attachment definitely does benefit you for the next attachment we're running with the 45 round magazines the standard magazine comes at 30 round mags however if you're playing aggressive you do want to have as much ammo as you possibly can especially if you're going to be deep in the enemy spawn you do want to be able to challenge multiple enemies at a time and having 45 round mags certainly gives you that insurance to do so now for the rear grip we're going to be running with the stippled wrap this one's going to give us more aim down sight speed as well as that sprint to fire speed now the aim down sight speed on this gun for the base weapon is not that impressive and may turn off a few people however adding a couple attachments such as the stippled wrap will definitely help mitigate some of those effects not entirely but it will help to some extent but the sprint to fire speed bonus for the stippled wrap is why i'm mainly suggesting this attachment because if you're going to go up close and personal you definitely want to be able to pull up your gun as fast as you possibly can so for the perk we're going to be using fully loaded if you're going to be running and gunning you definitely want to have as much ammo as possible the ammunition that you do use with this weapon is not your standard 556 it's actually the 762 and that unfortunately is not as common in multiplayer matches so that's why i suggest running fully loaded so you can start off with as max ammo as possible all right so for the stock attachment we're going to be using no stock this is going to greatly improve our movement speed which is what we'll need because like i said earlier that base movement speed as well as that aim down sight speed is not impressive at all so you definitely want to mitigate those negatives if you're going to be running an aggressive class setup such as this so that's why no stock is going to help you out all right so another key component to this class setup if you're going to be playing aggressive is that you want the right perks so for the perks i'm going to be running eod that's going to help us take less damage from explosives and for perk number two we're going to be using restock this is going to allow us to recharge our equipment over 25 seconds so in this case i'm using the c4 as well as the stim shot it's going to be really helpful in certain situations for perk three this is going to be a great combination to go along with that restock perk because it'll allow you to have two c4s as well as two stim shots and you're pretty much going to have that replenishing itself all throughout the course of the match so that you never run out of c4s or stim shots so for the next class setup we are going to be talking about the stealth class setup up. so this is one of my personal favorites because i do like to play stealthy so having a stealth class setup is very essential if you want to run the cr56 so for the muzzle we're going to be running with the monolithic suppressor this is going to give us that sound suppression as well as that extra damage range and this is going to be very important if you want to be stealthy you want to stay off the enemy compass as much as you possibly can so this will definitely help you out with that when you're firing your weapon you are not going to be shown on the enemy compass at all and you can still stay stealthy and keep flanking around the map so for the stock we're going to be using the cr56 exo stock this one's going to give us more aim down sight speed as well as that aim walking movement speed now the reason why i'm using this over the no stock attachment is because with the no stock attachment it does give you a little bit of recoil when you are flanking around the map and you're all by yourself you're most likely going to get into a lot of long range gunfights so having that no stock is not going to help you out at all because you are going to have a harder time controlling that recoil from long distance engagements you're better off suited adding something that will give you more mobility so when you're using this weapon you want to strafe left and right in gunfights when you do engage in long range combat Combat so that it'll make it harder for the enemy to shoot you all right again for the perk we are going to be using fully loaded because we're not going to be using the extended mags on this one so we want to have as much ammo as we possibly can now for the rear grip we're going to be using that stippled wrap again we want to be able to pull up our weapon as fast as we possibly can so for the underbarrel we're running with the merc foregrip once again this is going to help out with that long range recoil as well as that close range hip fire accuracy so for the second component for this class setup you do want to run eod for perk two we're going to be using ghost we want to stay as stealthy as possible 
possible so this is going to keep us off the enemy mini map as well as that compass when they do call in those uavs and for perk three we're going to be using tracker tracker i really love as a perk it helps you track down enemies much quicker who are in your area that you didn't even know were there when you flank around the map you tend to end up behind the enemies so you might see a lot of footprints but make sure that you do scan the area first before you approach the enemy when you're following his footprints just to make sure that it is safe and it's easy to take out that opponent and last but not least you do want to run dead silence as your field upgrade it's the fastest charging field upgrade in the game so having that on is definitely going to benefit you if you're trying to stay stealthy as possible pop that bad boy in certain situations when you're deep in the enemy spawn or you're about to flank somebody that would be a really good time to do so so for the next class setup we have our balanced slash no recoil class setup so this one is going to be especially helpful for players who don't want to play aggressive this is going to be perfect for you because you're going to be able to control that recoil from long distance and long range gun fights and this will absolutely beam people with little to no recoil so for the muzzle we're running with that monolithic suppressor and the barrel is going to be the zodiac barrel so this one's going to give us more damage range bullet velocity and recoil control all three of these things are very important when you're trying to engage in long range combat especially that damage range and bullet velocity i did make an in-depth video covering exactly how much range as well as that bullet velocity does affect the gun overall so make sure to check out that video down below in the description the only con to this is that the movement speed and aim down sight speed you are going to find that it's going to be very slow i do insist that if you're using this exact same class setup you want to be mindful when you're turning around corners or if you're about to enter an area to pre-aim down lines of sight so that you're not at a disadvantage all right so for the rear grip we're going to be running with that stippled wrap and for the ammunition we're running with 45 round magazines if you're engaging in long range combat you do want to have as much ammo as you possibly can in case you do miss your shots now for the under barrel we're going to be running with the ranger foregrip this is the best under barrel that you could use to be able to tighten that bullet spread as well as reduce that vertical recoil so the ranger foregrip and the zodiac barrel combined is going to give you the best results for no recoil when you're firing at long range all right so for the perks i do recommend using eod ghost and tracker we have our high damage cr56 class setup i will admit this is not the most practical class setup to use however if you are interested in using the m67 10 round mags which actually gives you the highest damage output as possible on this weapon then this class setup is going to be for you so to start off for the optic i am using the cronin lp945 mini reflex this is just so that i get a clearer sight on my enemy and it definitely does help you zero in on your target especially when you only have 10 rounds to work with you definitely want to hit your shots as accurate as possible when you're using this weapon because before you know it you will run out of ammo so that's why i recommend using a sight with it however if your accuracy is pretty good then you don't really need to put a sight on this now for the perk i am going to be using fully loaded we don't want to run out of ammo so that's why we have fully loaded on there so we're not worrying about picking up another random weapon now for the rear grip we're going to be using stippled wrap same concept apply especially us having only 10 rounds we do want to pull up our weapon as fast as we possibly can when we engage in those gunfights and we want to be able to get the first shot off now for the 10 round magazines this is what makes this attachment a high damage class setup it gives you a pro of aim down side speed damage movement speed as well as bullet velocity and you can get one to two shot kills with this weapon it's a one shot to the head the only thing that i do recommend when using this weapon is to try to play smart with it you know don't go rushing at your enemies at the same time because you only have 10 rounds to work with you got to play smart now one other key thing that i do have to add is that you do want to use this on smaller maps because if you engage in long range you're not going to be able to hit your shots there is a significant amount of recoil on it when you're firing your weapon rapidly and you're trying to cross map somebody you are going to have a hard time landing your shots so try to keep your engagements as close as you possibly can and you should do just fine all right so for the barrel we're going to be using the zodiac barrel this one's going to help us further increase that damage range bullet velocity and recoil control like i said earlier you are going to find a significant amount of recoil on this weapon when you're firing from long distance so the addition of more bullet velocity recoil control and that damage range is certainly going to help you drop your enemies much quicker as well as with more precision all right so for the perks i do recommend using eod and ghost however for perk three I highly suggest you use the tune-up perk. This one's going to help you reduce that recharge time when you're trying to earn your field upgrade. Now, the reason why behind us because we only have 10 rounds to work with, and if we're going on long streaks with this one, you definitely want to run that munitions box. So that's going to help you replenish your ammo as often as you need it. All right, so moving on to the Warzone loadout. This is my absolute favorite CR-56 Warzone loadout. This is what I'm always going to be running. So it's pretty similar to the balance class setup. As you can see here, we do have very similar attachments the only thing that's different is the optic here and for the muzzle i'm running the monolithic suppressor the barrel is going to be the zodiac barrel 
And for the optic, we're going to be running with the VLK 3.0 optic. Now, this is going to be especially helpful for long range engagements because you're going to get a magnification of your enemy on your sights. That's just going to make it easier for you to aim in on your opponents with much more accuracy. You could actually still challenge people up close with this optic, and it's a very versatile attachment. Now, for the ammunition, we're running 45 round mags. There's only 30 round mags in the standard magazine size, and that's just not enough in Warzone. People are using plates. 45 round mags is more than enough and now for the underbarrel we're going to be using that ranger foregrip the ranger foregrip is going to help us control that recoil and that in combination with the zodiac barrel is going to give you an absolute laser beam in war zone now again one negative to the cr56 in general is like i said earlier that movement speed as well as that aim down side speed is pretty slow so that's why you have to be very conscious of that when you're turning around corners or you're moving into a new area make sure you're constantly pre-aiming so that you're not at a disadvantage when an enemy just happens to appear in front of you so for the secondary you do want to run an mp5 in warzone now in order to achieve that you do want to run that overkill perk so that it allows you to run a primary as a secondary so for the first attachment we're running monolithic integral suppressor that five milliwatt laser for the laser and for the stock we're running that ftac collapsible stock and for the ammunition we're running 45 round mags and for the underbarrel, we're running with that Merc foregrip. So once you get your second loadout, you do want to have another loadout that has the same exact class setup, except for the perks, you do want to switch out overkill for ghost so that you can switch your secondary on your second loadout back for your MP5. So now you've got your CR56 and your MP5 and your EOD ghost and amped. You know, those are going to be very important aspects to winning Warzone games because you don't want to be exposed on enemy radar when they do call in UAVs. Now for the lethal, I'm running c4 and for my tactical this one's optional but you can either run with a heartbeat sensor or a stun or a flash and you should be just fine all right so that about wraps it up for my top five cr56 amax class setups make sure to leave a like on this video if we can hit 500 likes on this video i'd really appreciate it It shows me this is the kind of content you want to continue to see and make sure to subscribe if you're new around here man join turbo nation today make it official by hitting that subscribe button and turning notifications on all right you guys i will see you guys in the next video have a good day peace